What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Goblin, and hey, listen up. We got a Q&A coming in today. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Drop a like if you do. If you guys do want to ask questions for future Q&As, follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description. I do all my Q&As on Instagram stories. You just, you know, click on my story and then ask me a question. It's pretty simple, but either way, let's just dive right the fuck into it. I, I got no further ado, no, none of that bullshit. Fuck that. We're getting right into it. Question one from V2 Tim. Oh, wait. Also, nope. I lie. I lie. I have way more further ado, actually. This gameplay sucks dick, and I'm sorry in advance, but, like, I don't really have that much gameplay right now because all I've been doing is play RuneScape, and the one time I put RuneScape gameplay up, all of you complained. So I figured watching me fuck up on PUBG and loot like an idiot would be a little better than RuneScape because you all complained about that. So either way. Let's get into it. So, first question from V2 Tim. If you got paid $100,000 to post your sex tape on YouTube, would you? Here's the thing. If it was on a channel that isn't this one, like a channel that I'm not connected to, like, let, let's say, like, you know, I still got to keep my main channel because I do this for a living, then, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, give me 100 bands for that. Of course, I'd post my... Dude, I'd post an extensive sex tape. I would get, like professional lighting, like really high quality cameras. I'd make a sex tape. Oh my God. For a hundred bands. Yeah, of course. I don't care if you guys see my cock for a hundred bands. We all have cocks and you know, it's cool. It doesn't matter. Next question from young Casper five, one, five got any good fight stories. As of recently, no, I haven't been in a fight since like high school and I've been out of high school for like fucking three years now, but in terms of, I guess, almost fights, there's this one kid recently who wanted to get a little bit of butt off me, right? So he gave his friend the money because he had to go do something, right? So I go get the money off his friend. It was just $20. He wanted a 20 bag. And then I hit him up and I'm like, yo, I got the money off your buddy. Uh, you know, he told me to like still drop off the bud to you. I didn't really understand why he did that. Like, why couldn't he just have the money and I drop it off to him anyways? I didn't get the whole situation. But either way, I hit him up and I'm like, dude, just let me know when I can drop this off. Like, I'll drive over to your house. He's like, yeah, I'll be home in 20 minutes. I wait two hours almost, like an hour and like probably 40 something for this guy to respond. I call him a few times. I text him. I'm like, bro, where you at? What's going on? He ignored me the whole time. So I say, fuck it. I go pick up my buddies, go to a poker game. Think nothing of it. I have the money, but he doesn't have his bug because he just ignored me. As I pull up to, you know, my friend, we're going to call him Brad's house to, uh, you know, play, play poker and have a good night. He hits me up. Finally, he replies and he's like, dude, drop that shit off right now. And I'm like, no, bro, I'm busy. You're going to have to wait because I waited on you and you jagged. And he got mad and said he was going to beat my ass and catch me lacking. So I kept his money, quote unquote, catch me lacking some stupid shit. So I kept his money and never gave him his butt. It was a fuck situation. That's the closest I've gotten to a fight recently, but yeah, never heard from the guy again after that. Next question from Braden 43. How much weed you smoke in a week? Lately, it's been pretty bad, if I'm being honest. I spend a hefty chunk of my income on weed. And I'd say I've probably been smoking upwards of 10 grams a day. Like, definitely over 10 Gs a day for the past, like, month. Month at least. I was smoking a little lighter before that, trying to cut back. But recently, I've just been going hard on it, honestly. 100K celebration. I've just been going stupid on the butt. It's been really out of pocket, guys. Not healthy at all. Don't follow in my footsteps. But it, it has been fun. I'll say that. But yeah, I mean, I, I probably end up smoking like seven or eight blunts a day. And I roll easily a 1.5 in every blunt minimum. So yeah, definitely upwards of 10 grams a day. But next question from Ethan Morton. Scariest ghost story. All right, I know exactly what I'm going to tell on this one. When I was a little kid, right, I was like fucking seven years old, and my family used to go to this, like, cabin in northern Michigan, and it was, like, in the middle of the fucking woods. It was scary as hell to be a little kid in this cabin, right? And it was, like, the power would go out all... It, it was just... It was a sketchy-ass cabin, okay? Like, some real horror movie shit. And I had to sleep in the basement one of the summers we went up there. We went up every summer as, as like, a family because, like... There was too many relatives staying there. They didn't have room to give me, like, my own bed. So, like, I had to sleep in the basement on the couch. And, oh, my God, dude. What I'm telling you, I kept closing the door, like, at the top of the stairs, and it kept popping back open. But there was no windows open, so, like, wind couldn't have been doing that. And the little, like, there was, like, one of those, like, ceiling... It was weird. It was, like, one of those, like, ceiling titty lights, but with, like, a string coming down to, like, turn it on instead of, like, a light switch on the wall. And the string just kept 
moving around all night, but there was like no breeze. Like there was no wind. Like on everything I love, there was no breeze in this basement. It was dead. It was empty in there. And I was shitting bricks. It was so dark. I was like seven years old. I ended up going upstairs and just like spending the night. Away. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep in that basement again. I was like, yo, this is fucked. I'm not doing that. I don't know if it was a ghost, but it was spooky. And I didn't fuck with it. So I, I chalked it up as a ghost. That was really fucked. But thanks for the question, Ethan. Next question from Chase Duncanson Zero. Were you popular in high school? I don't want to say I was popular because I definitely like wasn't one of those popular kids. But I was like pretty cool with everybody, you know? Like I was definitely like on good terms with like the quote unquote popular kids. But I don't, nowadays, what the fuck is that even defined as? Because like fucking gamers are popular, dude. Ninja's popular. Like, so what even is pop? I don't know, dude. I haven't been in school in a minute. But like, I I don't know, dude. I I wasn't like popular, but I wasn't like like not cool with anyone, you know. Like I I was I was pretty like normal, I guess, pretty average. Next question from CM. Oh wait, actually, no, no, no. I was pretty average before I went to my alternative school. When I went to my alternative school, where all the kids were doing drugs, I was pretty popular because I did all the drugs with them. So like, I was tight with everybody. Like. Granted, there was only like 90 kids at that school, but I, I, I had some clout at that school. But nevertheless, all right, next question from CM fucking bunch of numbers. Do people recognize you when you go outside? And great job on 100K, keep it up. Thank you for that, CM. But um, I don't know like how like like famous you guys think 100K is, but like I don't like I don't get like stopped in public. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't have people coming up being like, are you like are you the real goblin? Like, like that doesn't happen. Like it's only a hundred K guys. That doesn't happen to me. I have friends who have like a million subscribers who that still doesn't like happen to them all the time. Unless you're at like a gaming convention, you know, that like packs, that's a little different, but, um, I have been recognized in public though a few times, probably like I'd say three, no, four times, like overall in total. Uh, two of them more recently, one of them while I was working at that company where I was selling bathtubs, I worked, uh, I worked in like various malls and sold bathtubs for a while. And this kid recognized me at the mall. That was cool. Um, I had someone recognize me at the mall closer to me when I was just shopping, I was buying shoes. And then I've also been recognized, I think again at the mall. And the fourth one was like weird. It was like, I was in like a parking lot. Like it was like a movie theater, but I was like outside. Like it was like a weird scenario, but yeah, I, I've been recognized a few times and it's, it's really cool. I like that shit. It's pretty dope. If, if on the off chance, any of you guys ever see me in person, don't be afraid to say hello to me. I'm just saying that like I, that shit like warms my heart. It's really cool. I love that stuff. Like it doesn't happen to me like ever, but it's cool as fuck. So if you guys ever see me say hello, but either way, next question from Blussier, Blusier, I don't know, 55. Favorite childhood cartoon? If you didn't watch Codename Kids Next Door or Ed, Ed, and Eddie when you were a kid, you're a fucking pussy. That's really all I have to say. Like, those cartoons were phenomenal. Those those were all top-shelf, god-tier cartoons that cannot be competed with. So... Either way, that's all the questions we got for today. Not that many, but don't forget to follow my Instagram if you guys do want to ask some more questions. We're going to have a banger of a story going up either tomorrow or the day after. I don't really know. I've been smoking too much to stick to a schedule, but we'll figure it out, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.